Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So over the better part of a year, I've let you know about Flyby 11, which is an upgrade assistant that allows upgrading to Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware. And according to the developer, the app offers all, and I'm quoting, working methods to bypass the restrictions for installing Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware. Now just a quick recap. The app can patch Windows images and perform in-place upgrades using the Windows Server method, which skips most hardware requirements. You can also bypass the Secure Boot TPM2 and processor checks. And if you already have a Windows image, you can drag and drop it into Flyby 11. And if you don't have an image, the app can download the necessary image for you, as we have spoken about previously. Now, just to let you know that version 3 of Flyby 11 has arrived and is now available for download over on GitHub. And according to the release notes and the developer, Flyby 11 now supports the media creation tool as a download source, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction. So according to the developer, if you choose this method, you can directly watch the tutorial from within the app. And if the Fado downloader, which by the way is recommended as you can see, doesn't work for you or the ISO language doesn't match your system, according to the developer, it's recommended to use the media creation tool instead. Because apparently it always downloads the ISO in your system language and gives you the best chance, according to the developer, of keeping file settings and apps. So I think that's a nice move in the right direction. Now over and above this handy improvement, if we head over to the change log over on GitHub, yeah, we can see that version 3 offers improved ISO mounting using PowerShell for more reliable drive detection. It improves bypass parameter handling for compact ignore warning, migrate drivers all. And they've also added Hungarian language support and updated Japanese translations. And I'll leave this page linked for Flyby 11.3, where you can go download the older version, 2.6 or the latest. And although I post these videos regarding bypassing the system requirements, I don't personally recommend it. And obviously, you use an app like this at your own risk. But I have seen some positive comments regarding Flyby 11 since posting a couple of videos, as mentioned, over the better part of the last year. And uh, there are some positive um, comments regarding the app. So, so just keeping you guys up to date is if this is something you would be interested in. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.